Hi everyone, this is Jason here from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to tackle a very important theory discussion which a lot of students have asked me over the my time of teaching music. The difference between suspended chords, add chords and extensions as we call them. Chord extensions or uh, chord colors. Now, all of these three are similar in what they do but are different in what they sound and can be used in very, very different ways. So I'd like to talk about how you form them in this lesson primarily and then how we can use them a little bit here and there as much as we can. And I'm going to try and do it as organically as possible. There's not going to be a a defined set of music which I want you to play in the lesson as I normally do. It's more organic. So I'll tell you the theory behind the chord and then I will tell you how you can use it and jam along and improvise a little bit okay so before we get cracking it'll be good if you get your keyboards out a pen a paper notebook whatever you feel and uh, don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't already give us a like hit that bell for regular notifications and let's get moving so first off let's look at the difference between all these three chords theoretically of course so if you take a triad let's start with a triad so if you take maybe a major chord let me look at a major a c sharp e okay and let's take another triad also for our study a minor a minor okay major minor so what a suspension will do is it will remove the third in in a major chord it will be a major third in a minor chord it will be a minor third so it will remove that third and then suspend it as we say with either the perfect fourth we call this resultant chord as the sus4 or the suspended 4 so what happened here this is a major then we remove the third and we get a sus4 sound come back to the third major that's your suspended chord as the word suspended means it kind of makes the the chord a bit uncertain it's neither it's not resolved and like a major chord is very stable a minor chord even though it's sad it's still stable but a suspended chord like hanging in the balance where should i go next right so that's your sus4 root suspended 4 or perfect 4 and the perfect fifth okay now coming to the suspended 2 what happens with the sus2 is we again replace the third and then bring it down to the major second okay suspended 2 so sus2 is nothing but a major second you can calculate a major second either by going two steps above your root or two steps below the major third or one step below the minor third there we go so again let's recap major chord minor chord suspended four suspended 2 there's no minor sus2 or major sus4 like that it's just called sus4 sus2 so it can be used to suspend the the role or the function of either the major or the minor chord so for example if i go i can do major going to sus coming back to major or i can do minor mm, sus minor i can even play around with the suspended four the suspended two and the triad either major or minor and get get a nice vibe build something melodically you know stuff like that right if I take minor, and what I like with suspended chords, you could kind of pivot the A 
minor, sus2, sus4 and explore different bass notes in your left hand and that complements these chords really well. not just an A suspended chord or A minor or whatever. It's that with a different bass note. It doesn't have to only be A. So that's what I like about suspended chords. They allow you to explore the bass. They allow you to, to make your triad more interesting and they allow you to explore your bass a lot more. Okay, guys, so that's sus2, sus4. Before I move to add chords, there's just a couple more suspended things which you could try out. There's sus2, 4. Uh, I don't know the official word for it. I just call it sus2 plus 4 or sus2, 4 or 2, 4 could also work. So how do we build that? Root 5th, remove the 5th, keep the sus2, keep the sus4. I quite like this vibe as well. Very fusion. Could even add a fifth for flavor. And you can add a minor seventh as well to the equation. Nice pentatonic scale, come to think of it. One, two, three, four, five. Very fusion sound. If you add the flat seven, there's another chord called the seven sus four, which is. Again, very ambient chord. So sus2, 4. With the 5th, if you wish. Bring it in with a 7 flat. Giving you a more uh, pentatonic scale to deal with. 5 note scale. Then what do we have? We can have a 7 sus4. That could resolve to a dominant chord. which could resolve back to a tonic chord, which is the one. So this could be the five of the one. There we go. There we go. So we've covered sus2, sus4, the, the other flavors, the ambient one, sus2, sus4. Then we've looked at the 7, sus4. We've looked at the theory, the formation. Hope that was useful. Now we need to move further. The lesson is not over. So now let's talk about add chords. An add chord will basically add to the triad. So if you take the major triad, in this case A major, you're adding elements to the triad. So to my knowledge, you can add the two, very ambient flavor. So you're adding the major 2 to the major chord. We call this as an A add 2. So you're adding the 2 to the triad. Now you're, you could also add a 4. We don't call this a sus 4 because you're not removing the 3. You're keeping the 3 and the 4 and adding the 4. So we call this A add 4. Now some of these, if you take and add two, it just sounds good when you play it as a block with the third, it kind of sounds nice. But when you do an add four, even that sounds nice, but a lot of these also sound good arpeggiated. For example, Or 
this. So that's an add to arpeggio with the three. So that's a four note chord. So an add chord ends up being a four note chord. The triad with the add. Play around. Let's try some stuff with the add four. Sometimes with the add four, you tend to leave the scale a bit, but that's cool. <clears throat> an add what you could also consider is an add but not a normal four you can do an add with a sharp four so you could start with that sound and then build around that sound so keep that lingering on you know Or you could do add twos and add fours in the same song. You know, you can combine them depending on the flavor. Like for example, Amazing Grace. How that's a, a add two. How sweet the sound. All add twos. That say. Going with an add four there. Add four. Like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. Add four. But now I'm seen. You do this a lot with country or with ballad kind of playing. So any song which you have chords already printed for, you could just decide every chord in that list or in that progression. Do you do you like the sound of the add two or do you like the sound of the add four? Now, sometimes they call add two as an add nine. That's also fine because we count that nine sometimes like that. So you could say this could also be like a C add nine, but a nine is nothing but a two. So it's easy to know that, okay, what is the two from C? The answer is D. So, okay. So usually when I'm thinking of add, add twos or add fours, I'm... Adding them with the triad. Now you could also add a 6, that's another really cool vibe. So if you take like a major, 
You can add a sixth that's also called a major sixth by the way. What I really like is when you add a minor sixth or you could call it also an augmented fifth. I really like that mysterious vibe. So you're doing major with a flat six or a sharp five. Now you could even do that with a minor. There we go. Right now we are writing all about those aliens. There we go. So that's your flat six. And if you take a minor chord, you can then do that with a major sixth. That you could call that as a minor with an add six. Or minor sixth. So we say minor sixth, major sixth. That's an augmented fifth or a major chord with an added you can call it whatever you want really. Just think about it as triad with a sixth. Either the major sixth or a minor sixth. Or you can say triad with a two or with a four. And in some rare cases you could even have a, a triad with a sharp four. Which makes it very Lydian as we say. Okay? You can even have a you have tried with a flat 2 very phrygian sound as we say okay guys so the difference between a suspension and an add chord a suspension will remove the third from the equation and substitute it or suspend it with the major 2 or the perfect 4 sus 2 sus 4 while an addition adds to the triad so if you have a song with triads you're just adding to them If you're suspending it, you remove the three. So the add would end up being, I guess, a more sophisticated sound. You can use it as it is and not, it'll just sound very, very big and yeah, very, very in in intense. While a suspended sound is something which you want to play around. You want to do the suspension and then resolve it back to somewhere else or resolve it to somewhere else or just change it to some other chord altogether so both exciting flavors and the last kind of chord i wanted to share with you all today is extension so with an extension you use words like nines elevens and thirteens right so a nine is nothing but a two played up the octave now that me that doesn't make a lot of sense until you understand why you're considering it up up the octave that's when there is some kind of a seventh so when you're calling a chord a ninth or major ninth or minor eleventh or uh, something thirteen or some uh, sharp eleven and whatnot, it's because there needs to be a seven which could also be felt or which is there in the sound in the chord. So if I explain this, let me explain it on A. So this is A major. So this is A major with a major 7th we call this A major 7th now if you want to add a, a 2 like a B now you will call it a ninth. if you want to add a, a D with the G sharp it will be a 11th or Or a sharp 11 where my 4 which is the 11 so 9 is the 2 11 is the 4 13 is the 6 okay so if I recap that again let's do that with a dominant 7th chord A C sharp E G the 9 will be B how we voice it is another topic altogether. We'll cover that and we have covered that in a lot of videos, but we will shortly. That's a ninth chord. 
and that's 11th chord. What is my D with respect to A? The 4th or the 11th. But why are we calling it 9, 11, 13? Because there is a 7 involved in the chord. So when do we call it an extension using words like 9, 11, 13? These jazz extensions as they call them. When there is a chord, a triad, major or minor, with a 7th. That could be either a major 7th or a minor 7th. So you're extending it with beyond the octave. That's why you use numbers like 9, 11, 13. Otherwise, you could have said 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You could clo have closed the puzzle within the octave. But you're having a dominant 7th or a major 7th already as the sound and you're building it with a 9, with a 11, in this case 11 sharp, and a 13 or take a dominant 7th chord get a 9 there get 11 there and a 13 there or take a minor 7th sound add a 9 add 11 and a 13 now these extensions need to be voiced well and there are simple ways of voicing them. You can use triads. For example, you can take A and do a G major in your right hand and A major in your left hand and you get a very sophisticated extended harmony sound. So you're getting the 9, the 11 and the flat 7 by taking a triad like G major and playing it with a different bass A. So that will be like a... A11 sound. I use this a lot. Yeah, and that resolves to uh, it, its root. Right, guys, so we've covered three theoretical topics in this lesson. We started with suspensions, where you do the suspension and then you resolve it to the respective major or the minor chord and you use them in tandem. Then you have the add chords, additions, where you have add two, which adds. To the triad you're adding that one note which is the two which is the four add four you could add it to even to a minor you can add it to a sus four or an add four with a minor chord you can add the sixth major sixth minor sixth then you can do a add six with respect to a, a major triad and an add flat 6 rather with respect to the minor chord. So it's add chords are triads plus these add notes which are 2s, the 4s and the 6s. Lastly, we looked at extensions. Extensions need the 7th interval from the root. So you need either the major 7th or the minor 7th and then you build extensions which are 9s, 11s, 13s. Why 9, 11, 13? Because those are not part of the chord. They are not part of the 1, 3, 5, 7. So what remaining numbers are there after 1, 3, 5, 7? 2, 4, 6. What do we call them instead? 9, 11, 13 because they are away from the octave. Okay, so those are the three types of chords which I've covered today. Adds, suspensions and extensions as we call them. Right, guys? Hope you found the lesson useful. If you have any questions or any doubts, you can always leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I can. Uh, if you feel your level as a musician is a little bit more basic or you'd like to sort of go through this theory in a more structured way, you could either consider our virtual courses at Nathaniel School or you could go to our website nathanielschool.com and you will have access to a more structured regular curriculum which is sort of ever growing. We keep uh, updating the lessons and uh, that will be a step-by-step -step kind of a process. There's, there are foundational topics, there are intermediate topics and there are advanced topics as well. Right? Hope you can make some great music. Keep rocking. Cheers.